It's pretty quiet here when the Huskies arrived, unlike the championship send off to Houston last Friday, where hundreds of Husky fans came out and cheered them on. Yeah, we didn't see any of that today, but we did speak with UW fans who told us that this team is one of their favorites of all time. The Husky football team touching down at the place where this magical season began. 14 and one doesn't get much better than that. Obviously the greatest uh, Husky season of my lifetime, but um, yeah, it's just disappointing to see how it uh, went down. A season filled with a lifetime of memories with countless opponents bowing down to the dogs. Go dogs! Including one of their biggest rivals who the Huskies defeated twice this season. Beating the Ducks honestly felt better than winning a national championship, but also I wouldn't know that either. Monday night was the first time the Huskies were up for a national championship since 1991. Similar to that game, which was played more than 30 years ago, the Huskies faced off against a familiar foe. Unfortunately, this time the Huskies ended up losing to the Michigan Wolverines. Go Blue! Go blue. Which made this Seattle man, who's originally from Ann Arbor, a happy one. Today's our Victory Tuesday. This is the first championship of my lifetime, but not the last for sure. And I thought, while well, I live in Seattle, it's just a short stop over to take some cool pictures in front of the stadium for our championship. But this story isn't about this season's national champions. It's about these lovable dogs that brought joy to Husky Nation every Saturday this season. It was great to see our guys like make it all the way to the end. I would have liked to see a finish, but stuff happens, you know, I still still going to support the dogs. Support that will continue next season and beyond. Mark my words, 2025 Huskies are going to be going back to the college football playoff. Not going to win, not saying that we're going to win, but we're going to be back there in 2025. So. And we did reach out to UW to see if the school was planning on holding a celebration for this team, even though they didn't win at all. And their response was, there will not be a formal event. For now, in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.